Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Libert Hens and Mikal Tal. This game was played in Skopje, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, in 1972. Libert Hens had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. Mikal Tal played knight to f6. c4. Is it going to be an English opening? Definitely, maybe. g6, g3, bishop to g7, bishop to g2, and both players cast at kingside. d6, d4, knight to c6, knight to c3. The game has transposed to king's Indian defense. Fianchetto variation. Bishop to g4, h3, to take or not to take. Mikaltal played bishop takes on f3. For his plane, Tal doesn't need his light square bishop. Bishop takes on f3. Knight to d7. Tal intends to play e5 and also f5 at the right time. e3, e5, d5, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. Knight to e7, e4, f5. Bishop to g2. If pawn takes pawn on f5, Tal would probably recapture with g pawn. Bishop to g2. Knight to f6. Pawn takes pawn on f5. G takes on f5. Controlling e4 squares. f4. Knight to d7. White to move. King to h2 was played. F takes on e5, should have been considered. And if D takes on e5, then White can play bishop to g5 or d6. However, king to h2 was played. Libert Haynes was a bit afraid of Tal, so he wanted to play safe. Knight to g6, bishop to e3. King to h8, intending to bring the rook to g8 at some stage. Queen to d2, pawn takes pawn on f4, g takes on f4, queen to h4, rook from a to e1, rook to f7, intending to bring the other rook to g8. I guess knight to f6 was expected. This looks like a very natural move. However, Tal had a plan, a different plan for this knight in the future. Back to our game. Rook to f7 was played. Knight to e2. Rook to g8. Knight to d4. Libert was quite happy with his position. In some variations, the knight can go to f3, attacking black queen. And in other variations, the knight can go to e6, and the knight would be extremely well placed on e6. So, white is slightly better. It is black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? I will not even ask you to pause and to find the solution. Because tell solution, it doesn't look like a solution. It looks like a blunder. The move is, are you ready to see the move? Are you sure? This is not the move. Well, a6 is a more sensible move for mere mortals. But Tal had a different logic. Well, this was Tal's solution. To create mess on the board and to confuse his opponent. Chess experts from Mongolian capital city Ulaanbaatar all agreed that this was Tal's worst ever sacrifice. However, one of Tal's fans from Ulaanbaatar said that Tal would win even if he played queen to g4. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Back to our game. I think a knight from d to e5 is a crazy enough move. Well, white move. What else but to take? F takes on e5. 
Bishop takes on e5 check. King to g1. Queen to g3 threatening. Queen to h2. Check. Knight to f3. Defending. h2 square. Knight to h4. Attacking the defender. Knight takes on h4. Black to move. The lost logical move is queen takes on h4. But then bishop to f4 and white is fine. Tal played queen to h2 check. King to f2. Bishop to g3 check. King to f3. Well, king to e2 would be a better move. Analysis after the game had shown that after bishop takes on h4, bishop to d4 check, bishop to f6, rook to f2, this is fine for white. White is better. People who analyze this game at seven grandmasters and three engines, Stockfish, Houdini and Fritz, they all agreed that white is winning. Alpha Zero was not consulted because Alpha Zero was not born yet. At the time of playing this game, Libert had no access to these great minds. Okay, back to our game. In this position, King to F3 was played. Bishop takes on H4. Bishop to D4 check. Bishop to F6. Queen to F2. Defending G3 square, maybe. Bishop to E5. Rook to h1. Not the best. Bishop takes on e5 should have been considered. Rook to h1. Not the best move, but this is normal. Libert confused himself by trying to stop another of Tal's magic moves. The game continued. Queen to f4 check. King to e2. Queen takes on d4. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. The dust has settled a little bit. And black is a pawn up in a better position. The bishop on g2 is a target, so bishop to f3 was played. Rook to g3. v3 saving the pawn. Bishop to c5. Threatening rook to e7 check, winning the bishop, for example. If something like a4, then rook to e7 check, and after king to d3, rook takes on f3. So, Libert played rook from e to f1. Rook to e7 check, king to d2, rook to e3, threatening to capture the bishop. Bishop to d1, controlling c2 and e2 squares. If bishop to h5, then rook to g2 check, and after king to c1, rook to c3 check, and after king to b1, rook from c to c2, and there is checkmate in 9. Back to our game. Bishop to d1, rook to g2 check, king to c1, rook to c3 check, king to b1, black to move. Black played the move and white resigned. The move is bishop to a3. Libert resigned in view of this continuation. Well, first rank must be defended. If something like rook from h to g1, there is checkmate in 1. So, bishop must move. Let's say bishop to h5. Then rook from c to c2. And what now? Random move. Then rook to b2 check. King to a1, rook takes on a2 check, king to b1, rook from g to b2 check, king to c1 and there is checkmate in 1, rook to a1, checkmate. What a game, what a crazy sacrifice, what a brilliant imagination. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.